show. Folks, you have binge watched my first guest on Mad Men and The West Wing. She now stars in The Handmaid's Tale. Please welcome Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> Are fantastic. Thank you very much. Those Thank are really you. amazing. Okay. Now, those are are those uh, are those uh, street legal? Those shoes? <laughs> I hope so. Are those just for TV? Or I, are you wearing uh, those about uh, town uh, these too? These will just be for TV. I was wearing Uggs backstage, <laughs> and we'll be wearing Uggs in five minutes. <laughs> that's that's the thing that uh, I sort of feel for people who come on talk shows. I really love <laughs> having you here, and I'm Thank really grateful you. everybody comes to the show. But when I, my night's over, like they just put me back under the desk, and I'm ready for 24 <laughs> hours. I stay here. People who are like movie stars and people who do episodic TV, they do in these junkets of press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all over the place. Yes. When was the last time you weren't someplace just promoting something? <laughs> um, that's part of the gig. Yeah, it is. It is part of the gig. A few weeks ago, we went, uh, me and my best friend had a chance to go to Hawaii, which was the first vacation either of us had had in a while. Oh, yeah. And we had this sort of five days that we could go to Hawaii. Which and, island did you go to? Uh, we went to Maui. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, Maui. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's 420. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is the best audience either of us will ever have. <laughs> this is it. We don't even have bit. to say anything. Uh, so what, what did you what did you do? Did you just go lie on the beach? We and had just... five precious days, and we intended to soak up as much sun as possible and sit by the pool every single day. Yeah. And then one day it poured all day, and we refused to acknowledge that it was raining. <laughs> it was just full denial. We went to the pool as if nothing was happening. You know, put our bags down. We had our umbrellas. We weren't actually sitting in the rain, but we uh -huh. just read our books and uh -huh. talked and drank, uh -huh. went in the jacuzzi. Oh, perfect. Yeah, full denial, because we refused to give up a day to rain. Oh, yeah. yeah. Denial is an excellent <laughs> way. Cocktails help with the denial, too. Oh, yeah. They really do. Definitely. Now, um, uh, look, you've been part of a couple of iconic shows. I mean, obviously, you, you were Peggy on Mad Men. Uh, you were Zoe on The President's Daughter. Thank you. On, on West Wing. Um, and you were, a, you were a child actress, yeah. it's fair to say. Yeah. You, you seem like a perfectly normal, well-adjusted person. <laughs> Thank you. But the stereotype is that doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. I think it, I think it was, uh, I wasn't famous. Uh, for a Pretty very famous. long time. I, mean, I don't know. Well, How I mean, old were you doing Mad Men? Uh, Mad Men, I was 23. Oh, you seem younger. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. I was 17 for West Wing, so I think it helped that I wasn't like a famous child star, so I didn't fall into any of the mm -hmm. trappings. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I took it very seriously. It was my job. How old were you when you started at all, before you, before you hit? Five or six. Five or six? Yeah, well, yeah. What about like school, school and stuff <laughs> like that? Did you go to like normal school? Uh, no, my family was all musicians. Oh. So, oh, yeah. People. Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Very nice. Education? Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah so, no, I, uh, they didn't want to get up and go take me to school in the morning. Uh, <laughs> what, what, quite, what time did they want to get up? Quite one. One oh, yeah, sure. Everyone was up late, you get it? I mean, it's like, that's just how it, life is. Right. Mm -hmm. And it screwed me now, because yeah. now I have to get up early for work all the time. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't want to. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, did your parents teach you? No, I'm the only person who doesn't play an instrument in my family. <laughs> Nothing. They, they didn't want to pass their <laughs> lifestyle on to you? No. What they about what about like me. what about like algebra? Did they teach you that stuff? No. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how to ask this, I've... but Elizabeth Moss, do you know how to read? <laughs> or are your scripts yeah. all given to you in pictographs? <laughs> It's all, it's all just a rebus. And the bad men will start smoking and hitting on you. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. I'd enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. yeah well, I do know how to read. <laughs> Relatively. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You got the little R. You got the R right there. C-R. Yeah. For reading. For arithmetic. See? Yeah. 
<laughs> you, were a, you were a dancer, too, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you stick with the dancing? Did you like it? I loved it. I loved it. I was a what ballet kind dancer. Of a ballet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From 5 to 15. And then I sat down with my mom when I was 15. I was also acting at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I sat down with her, and we had a great conversation where I had to decide which one I was going to do. At 15? Yeah, because a ballet, in ballet, that's like a turning point. That's when you kind of go pro. What happens? Do you, like, spin the cocoon at that point? <laughs> yes. And then you come out later, and your toes are all curled <laughs> totally. up and stuff like that? <laughs> Did you have exactly. that? Could you, you go up on point and all yeah, that? Yeah, oh, stuff? yeah. I went up on point and everything. Um, we decided that, honestly, by the time, and ballet is a very tough world. It's a beautiful world. Uh, but I saw Black Swan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's not all like that, but sure, yeah. Sure, stab each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, great film. Got the feathers. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> all true. That's exactly what yeah. it was like. Yeah. And my, my mom was like, you don't want that. <laughs> my mom was well, like, hell no. <laughs> well, now, I mean, being a dancer is like being an athlete. Yeah, you know? it, it, oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. for sure. They're, they're so athletic and they're so yeah. strong. You'd be like at the end of your career now. Exactly. I'm 34, and I, if I was successful and if I didn't get injured, uh, I, I would be done soon. And at 34, I feel like, you know, I'm just starting a, a new chapter with a new show, and I, it doesn't feel like I'm done yet. No, not so. at all. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. no, well, The Handsmaid's Tale yeah. is uh, getting great reviews. It's, it's based yeah. on a 1985 novel, a futurist novel, yeah. by Margaret Atwood, who's mm -hmm. a great writer. Yeah. And... For the, for the people out there uh, who were not reading uh, futuristic novels in 85 like <laughs> I was, can you explain to the people what, what happens in The Handmaid's Tale? Yes. In a nutshell, I'll try to set the scene for you and see if you can track with this. It's about, uh, in America, a totalitarian right-wing fundamentalist regime. <laughs> yes. Takes over the country. Yeah. Women are enslaved and made to be breeding hosts. All reproductive rights are stripped, and the Constitution is blown to smithereens. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can imagine. Okay, sure. Such a world. Wow. Try to go there. Okay. And, Just try. And 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 you're 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 a woman who is uh, resistant to that, right? Very. Okay. Yes. And we have a scene here. <laughs> we have a scene here. Uh, do, you, do you happen to know what's going on in the scene? Yeah. Is so it... this is me and Alexis Bledel, oh, um, who's sure. amazing. Gilmore Girl. Yeah. Gilmore Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible performance, and she plays my partner. We can't walk alone, so she plays my partner, and we're we're not allowed to talk to each other. So this is the first time we're actually able to talk to each other and kind of tell each other our stories, which is extremely forbidden. Jim. We tried to cross in Maine with my husband, and we split up. They shot him. They weren't going to let any of us get away. Not if you had a red tag. This is your stop, as I used to say. It was nice to finally meet you. You too. Fashion has changed slightly. <laughs> yeah. Fashion has changed slightly. Yeah, just a little bit. And there's no internet or anything that, like that, right? No, no, this not at no all. There's no social media. We're not, women like are that. not allowed to read. So I'll be really... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right at home. Well, uh, <laughs> congratulations on starting your career at 34. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I hope you can come back and dance with us sometime. I would love to. Thank the you. The Handmaid's Tale premieres Wednesday, Hulu. The lovely, talented Elizabeth Moss, everybody. We'll be right back.